go. What did you sound called? We should be clear. Still got a couple of mouthfuls of uh, tea to go. So I've actually drunk my tea before I got cold today. get us to about 70% done. So if I buy two more pallets of seed, oh, let's have a look. So this is 29 acres and I believe that's wheat, that's canola, that's spelt. So that's 15, that's 29, three pallets is 29, is 30. One pallet is ten, so I actually want two and a half more pallets. Woo! That's not going to help. Because I can't sell half pallets back, so I think what we'll do is I will fill the cedar up completely. I'll buy three pallets. Yeah, I'll buy three pounds. That will leave some seed back at the store. And then uh, it should give us enough seed for um, uh, for the two contracts. Pay us quite well. I mean, we'll this do both of them, even if we um, have to buy more seed, should put us very close to 200,000. So, we're gonna have what. Um, there's a field of wheat, we don't have wheat seed. There's a field that wants canola, we don't have canola seed. Oh, and there's a field that wants grass. That one wants grass. Now I do have grass seeds, so I could do that one because I've got the seed on hand. So we'll have a go with that. So the other thing with all these contracts is it does get us seeing more of the map than we used to. I mean we were literally limited to our fields plus about two or three others. And so far I've done both of the fields up by the castle. All of the fields around here are uh, good to go. And this one was cultivated. The one directly in front of us, I think I ploughed. The one to our left, I've ploughed. So we're getting to uh, traverse more of the map than just the stores and the, the thing. I mean, before we had uh, this, this field here was a common field we used to deal with. And then I think 41 was a field we dealt with. Uh, we've done, I planted grass in that one. I've cultivated and planted that one. I think I've done a couple of jobs here. And that one is 
planted with something which I'm not sure I did. But I might have cultivated that field. Captain Zeng, good morning. Uh, branching out. Yes, we are doing contracts on this map for a change. And I'll apologise for my voice. I do have a cold. I did have some uh, cough syrup this morning. Which helps a little bit. Like I'm not coughing continuously, but... Uh, it doesn't make my voice sound any better. And we have the kids yelling in the background. Because little kid has two volumes, silent and very loud. Anyway, so I didn't look at how far we've gotten on this one yet. Uh, we're all more than halfway, but as I said, we will go back to the store because we need... Uh, I didn't get enough seed. Close your eyes, we're just driving through the hedge. Nothing to see here. Mr. Tell me a bit more than I planned to there. But I think no matter what I do, because um, the headland is, as I said, usually about 20 25% of the field I'm going to have to do at least some of it but, uh, we are in oh. we're in the middle of mid spring so we've got we've got two days before the clover should be ready to harvest this field here oh that's that's my other clover field so this is grass this is grass that makes sense grass as I said depending on what we find with clover um, I may uh, I may turn field three arable next year Field 9, I, yeah, there, there's not a lot I can put in that. It's so small, getting a harvesting equipment into it's going to be a pain in the butt. So I probably won't do anything but grass in Field 9. Having grass around is a little bit handy, but we're not going to have a lot of it. And I think for the most part, our grass is going to be... Um, well, again depends on the clover. But what might end up happening is if the clover is good forever or good if I store it in a barn, that is one of the uh, options for sheep. There, there is no manure on this. So you can either feed them fresh grass, grass, clover, fresh maize, or hay pellets. So if clover's good, then I can feed them clover, I can feed them clover hay, or hay. I can feed them clover silage, and then I've just got to worry about sugar beets or carrots. Well, we grow sugar beets as a standard on this farm. Uh, water, obviously not an issue. So if I can just feed them all clover, then we're going to be creating clover bales, clover hay bales, and uh, clover silage. The only issue is if clover is like grass and 
decays over time, then, then we're always going to be supplementing, not that screen, we're always going to be supplementing with you know, grass pulled from the, the yard behind the cattle shed. That's not an issue, I don't think. Because I can run around that field twice and then um, I can just pick that up in the loading wagon, unload what the sheep need and drop the rest in the, the silage clamp. And then over the course of a year we'll collect enough silage and once the grass stops growing I can compact that, cover it over and sell it over the winter months or something. The issue is going to be um, I've got the hay had uh, the, the straw add-on whatever it is so we could, I could buy a pelletizer. That's expensive piece of kit though. And there's fresh maize. Maize isn't a particularly good um, crop to grow in the UK. I'm also not sure what fresh maize is. I'm assuming it's corn, but I may have to do something different with it, like cut it with a mower. I may just end, wait, uh, um, wait on Farmer Cop to see what his Maze Plus in, uh, you know, introduction to Maze Plus series shows us. My concern right now is what equipment can I use on things like clover and everything else. Yes. Yeah, we just we just grow clover and nothing else. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. We are done. Fold this thing up, and we'll uh, put the beacons on because it's so difficult to see equipment this size driving down the road. And we'll head back to the store and get us three more pallets. Oops. As I said, I'm hoping the Converland mower set does work with the Challenger. Because we've only got these two tractors um, that are big enough to run that Cavernal mower set. And if the front mower doesn't work on the uh, Challenger either, then uh, the mower set just doesn't work for us. Now I know it works, but it doesn't work for us on this map with the tractors we have. And all of it, I think, apart from the Lindner, Every single tractor I have currently is a mod. Even the Case Puma is a mod. So, uh, I did add some horsepower to the Case Puma as well off camera last week. This one's still running the 940, so it's about 380 horsepower. Challenger is what, about 390, 395. They're both not quite 400. The Case Puma, I think I bumped up to about 250. And it works better with our small plow. Stop. 
the thing with this mod, uh, the, the enhanced driving mod thing, whatever I'm using these days, um, you really have to make sure that the uh, tractor is stopped. So if you don't stop it, then uh, it will roll. Okay. I can get most, but not all of this. Oh. Okay, there we go. So this is going to completely fill this, but it's not going to give us, or oh, we're going to end up with a little bit left over. Might need to bring one of the front loaders down here. I mean, obviously, I've got the weight down here just for moving stuff around. But I think we're getting to the point where there's enough extra cash here that I could buy a forklift. just for use at the store. And done. Let's try not to bump the pallet as we drive past. Obviously totally realistic loading uh, cedars like this. Actually, it kind of is. would just be very laborious because we're carrying these seed packs up the steps and dropping them in. And we are loaded. And there is still some left. We'll cover that up. The change in field of view is part of the um, the driving mod now. Right, it's completely different. Enhanced driving pack. As I said, I can't remember what it's called. It still gives me select forward, select reverse. Oh dear, that's a problem. problem is, is that's way too close to the edge of the map. Distinct possibilities I wouldn't be able to drive around it. Another mod we have loaded is the auto turn signal cancel. So the turn signals cancel when you straighten up. Something I used to use in 17 and kind of missed it for 19 and it, it, do, it really doesn't add anything to the game but it's sort of, yeah, I'll have that, it'll encourage me to use my turn signals. horse farm. <coughs> so that's the ploughed field on our left. This will be the, the remaining 10 acres of field 35 that we're planting. And we are right at the end of this field almost. What 
Okay. Time to jump out of the cab, turn the beacons off, and figure out where we got up to. Right about here. I will stick that back on. Looks fine. Open it out. Drop it, turn it on, and off we go. You're my all the energy. Range cruise control. So yeah, we're seventy-four percent done. We've probably got two or three more rows. We'll be all the way back down to them, almost to the end. And then maybe one. And then we can run around the headlands and they should all be complete. So I haven't scienced out the seed usage. So I don't know how this compares to wheat, barley, oats, that sort of thing. I know wheat and barley and oats use the same amount of seed. I think the same amount as corn as well. Canola's the most efficient arable crop and oilseed radish is obviously the most efficient thing you can plant. Uses half the amount of seed that canola does per acre. But it doesn't make you any money. It's just a, a thing. Should probably start making notes on uh, nitrogen requirements of each of the, the uh, crop types because that's going to be important on future year planning. I don't want to be over nitrogenating the soil prior to planting stuff. Hi. Hi. What you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, you going to say hello to people? Yeah. Say hello. Hi. Hi. I think I have a play with my What are the girls doing? Uh, let's show you them, them Pokemon cards. Oh, they are? Yeah. Notice the sun reflecting off the uh, top of the right um, seat distributor. I was thinking what happened to the paint on it, but there is paint on it. It's just from where we sat, just right. Yeah. The sun reflection like yep. that. Yep. Making it look completely unpainted. Yep. Oh yes, I remember. We did plant that field to the right of us and we had a big problem. Because part of... I couldn't get... Was it that or the sprayer? It was spraying it. The sprayer was, pay, it was spraying that little... Um, the small bit between the trees and the hedge, but a lot of it was on this field and it was saying, yeah, I can't spray that because you're spraying the neighbouring farmer's crop. So, 
that field's a little bit annoying. I think if we buy that field, we're going to have to buy this field at the same time. Of the field's actually wider than I thought it was. Eighty-seven percent. I might not have to do much if any of the headland at this rate. Well, then again, it is getting shorter quite quickly. We'll see where we end up. Um, I am liking this kit. I think this has. I can't remember if this has cultivating heads, which might make us step up. I was going to do that. On the 12 meter lambkin that we used on law folds. Back on cruise control, garage. Yeah, so this is a direct seeder. I don't have to cultivate if I don't want to. Well, postman's been. Now, obviously, this is someone else's field, and they wanted their field cultivated before they planted it. And I think that's a standard for uh, AI farmers. You either have to plough it or cultivate it and then seed it. At least you don't have to plough it and cultivate it before you seed it. But for us, we can do direct seed. And I don't have to do the cultivating anymore because we have managed to do that as a um, an achievement. No. It's putting me right back. Oh, dude. Don't want my road markers up. Well, it probably doesn't matter. Because this is not my field. And there we go. So 93% done. Yay. All oh, right. Yes, we we did, did go. Full use for our spelt. I'm not sure if I want to do the because uh, what is it? This one is wheat. I could do the wheat contract as well. That's 21 acres. If we guess, that's two pallets of wheat. Knowing my luck, it's 2.5 pallets of wheat, and I'll have to buy the third pallet, and then I'll have a lot of wheat left over. That's probably not a bad thing, because I can always plant wheat as one of my crops over the coming years. <coughs> So I'm not absolutely averse to planting wheat. We'll probably plant. We, we did triticale this year. I might do spelt next year, and then switch back to the more mundane things like barley and wheat the year after. Although well, there's rye as well. I don't know. I mean, over the course of time, we're going to end up with more fields. So there may be 
More stuff to play with. Oh, how is this doing that? Whoa, it's ready to go up. Whoa, whoa!